Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth to rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. To the Akim and to the Akwaf, that will be brothers and sisters. I don't want to write this up. Let us just say, Lord willing. Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amma One Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh. Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And, um,. Is, uh, this lesson is going to be uh, thinking out loud. Okay, it's uh, 4:20 a.m. in the morning. Um, got up a few times through the night. Um, don't appear like I'm going back to sleep anytime soon, as I got to soon get up to go to work. So uh, I was thinking to myself. What, what better thing to do than, than right now than to do a lesson, you know? So, this lesson is an organic lesson, all through the spirit. You know, whatever the spirit allows, you know, that will I speak upon through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Um, so, like I say, once again, thinking out loud. Okay, and um, to feed the sheep, okay, the Lord said to feed the sheep, right? So, um, Lord willing, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. And I was thinking about um, Ephesians, the fifth chapter, okay? So, let me just go to that and bear with me real quick as I uh, turn off. Uh, the notifications. So, um, okay. With that being done. This is Ephesians to, uh, Ephesians to, uh, fifth chapter. And then we'll jump in here at verse 15. Because, I mean, there's so much that's going on in the world. And there's a certain way that you gotta walk. Okay, when you're out and about, you know. You gotta, uh, you know, stay in prayer, you know, it's good to anoint yourself, you know, pray before you leave the house, you know, and, and the scripture said to pray, uh, 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 scripture said to pray without ceasing, First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter and the 17th verse, if I'm not mistaken, the scripture said to, to, to pray without ceasing, okay, so we got to remember to stay in prayer because we're coming into some serious times. You know, the book of uh, 2 Timothy, the third chapter, and the first verse says, you know, additional also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Okay? That's dangerous times. So these are the times, these are the days that we're in right now wherein you got to walk, okay, uh, in wisdom, man. You got to walk applying wisdom, apply, applying the precepts of the scriptures to Commandments of the scriptures to the best of your ability in your walk. Because the scripture speaks about rehearsing the righteous acts. Book of Judges chapter 5 and verse 11. Okay. You have to take uh, heed to the word of the Lord. You know, the scripture says, uh, Beth wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way. Okay. By taking heed unto thy word. So you got to take heed unto the word. So, so you could, um, um, so you could be able to, uh, uh, escape those fiery dots as I tell you in Ephesians the 6th chapter okay but let's read this this is Ephesians the 5th chapter um, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 15 it says see then that ye walk circumspectly okay meaning uh, taking note of, of, of uh, observation of your surroundings man you know circum meaning in a circumference in a circular, you know, way, looking around, inspect, 
Spec means to look circumspectly, looking around, being alert. As you know, the picture said, uh, what's that? Let me get a quick preset. Come back to that. Um, we start the first first Peters. So you got to be circumspect out here, man. That's just the way it is. The time that you're living in. That's why you're supposed to measure the time so you can know the time that you're living in. This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Okay. Concerning, concerning uh, circumspectly, that word. All right. Remember once again, circum, meaning in a circular conference. You know, looking around. And no spec means to look. So... Yeah, this precept right here, this is First Peter chapter 5, verse 8, it says, Be sober, you know, take observation of the surroundings and what's happening around you. Be alert. It says, Be sober, okay? It says, Be vigilant, all right? Why? Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, okay? This is the world that you live in, man, so you got to, you got to be able to discern uh, what's before you, you know. You got to be able to um, draw from the scriptures and apply wisdom, especially in these times, you know. So, yeah, going back, going back to Ephesians, the fifth chapter, all right. And it tells you, it says, be seated that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. These are some, when you go into this word, evil is a compound word. It means uh, bad time, okay? Eve meaning time and ill meaning bad, you know? It says redeeming the time because the days are evil. So you should be, like how I woke up now and, and then just started doing this video. That's what you're doing. You, you're buying back the time by doing the right thing, doing the work of the Lord, which is the will of the Lord. You know, to, 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 to speak these prophecies, man, to uh, proclaim uh, the acceptable year of the Lord, uh, 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 declare his name, okay, uh, 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 and, and warn the people, man. You know, because we are the watchmen. Scripture says, Son of man, I made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word that my mouth will give them warning for me. Ezekiel, the third chapter and the 17th verse. You see? You have a, you have a job to do. You see? So you, you're supposed to be using this time that we have, this grace spirit that we have. Okay, the liberty that we have right now to do these things because the time will come when you're not going to be able to do it. You know? As the old saying goes, you got to make a while the sunshine. Okay? The scriptures tell you how the night, the night, the night coming where no man could work. So you got to do these things now, man. While you have liberty to do so, you got to preach this word. Warn the flock. You see? Let them know that they must repent. Let them know that salvation is open unto if you have the if you have the the the, 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 the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, let you know that salvation is open unto you. You know. You just gotta take heed if you be of that uh, precious number of the elect. All right. It says, um, yeah, redeeming the time. So you should be, you should be doing whatever in your power, okay, to to to, to do this work, man. Okay, to serve the Lord, to, to 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 make up for your transgressions, man. You know, the scriptures say, if 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 the if, if, if the Most High should have marked iniquity, who would stand? So you need your transgressions to be blotted out. You see, that's the only way you, you could get salvation, man. You need your transgressions to be blotted out. That's why Acts 3.19 tells you, okay, uh, 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 repent ye therefore and be converted so that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the, pres uh, the presence of the Lord. You see, so it's very important to, 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 to redeem the time. As it says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. <clears throat> so you should be using your time Okay, that's my I might title that that, that, that the, the video, <clears throat> um, redeem the time. You know, use this time that you got to serve the Lord, man, and make things right. You see, 
So, yeah, it says verse 17, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 17. It says, Wherefore be ye not unwise, but, but understanding the will of the Lord. Salakia. But understanding what the will of the Lord is, right? So, so it, 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 you got to understand what the will of the Lord is, man. Okay? The scripture it, 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 uh, um, is for you to know the mystery of the kingdom. You know? So you have to know what the will of the Lord is, man. Okay? To speak his words. Okay? Speak prophecy, man. All right? The, the scripture tells you that, uh, the testimony of our Lord, all right, is the spirit of prophecy. You should be you should be prophesying, man. Okay? It says, um, and be not drunk, verse 18, and be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be but be filled with the spirit. Okay? It says verse 19, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, right? This is this is how you should be. You should be, you know, speaking to yourselves in, in, in psalms and in hymns, you know, and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, man. You see? Verse 20 says to give, giving thanks always for all things unto Yahweh, all right, and the Father in the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, all right? Because you got to go through the, the Son to get to the Father, all right? So, that's why we say, all right, Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father's name, okay, Bahashim in the name, Yahweh Shai, all right? You got to pray through the name of the Son to get to the Father, that way, in that order, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, you know, call on those names because, you know, the scriptures tell you how the name of the Lord is a strong tower, all right, Proverbs 18 and 10, you see? So, yeah, man, um. Speaking out loud, these are some serious times that, that we're in. So, at the end of the day, <clears throat> you, you got to stay prayed up, man. You got to put on the full armor. I'm going to go over to Ephesians, the sixth chapter, right? This is Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, see? That's the only way you can be able to stand against the wiles of the devils, man. You got to put on, the scripture says, uh, put on as the elect, okay? As a matter of fact, let's go to that. Colossians, uh, Colossians, the third chapter, I think it is in the 12th verse. Colossians, right, right. Colossians chapter three, verse 12, it says, put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Mashiach, Mashiach forgave you, also do ye. And above all these things put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. You see? I let the peace of the Most High, the Heavenly Fathers, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Mashiach dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. See? It says, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Verse 17, it says, And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord, right? Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to Yahweh and the Father by him. See? So the, the point is to, to put on as the elect. You, you gotta you gotta um <clears throat> you gotta put on that armor, man. And that's by way of the scriptures. You know? So you could walk in the spirit, man, and apply these scriptures. Alright? So going back to um, Ephesians, the sixth chapter, right? Um, let's jump in here, in here back at uh, verse 10 again. It says, but put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. 
For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. It says, Wherefore take on to you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your, lo your loins girded about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, having so like it, above all taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which the word so like it, which is the word of God. Right, the heavenly Father whose name is Yahweh. Right, it says, um, verse eighteen, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. You see? Who are the saints? The, the Israelites, man. Okay? Psalms 50 and 5, uh, verse 5. Psalms 148 and verse 14. <clears throat> you so-called uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right? That's speaking about you, man. <clears throat> Salvation is open unto you, the Lord is saying, repent, turn back unto him, okay? You know, so, yeah. And these times, you should be you should be redeeming the time, man. You should be buying back the time, you know what I mean, to, to uh, cover your sins, man, okay? Because Yahweh Shai paid that time. He was the, uh, uh, he was the sacrificial lamb, okay, to give remission of sin to the nation of Israel. Okay, therefore, you know, we were, we were shown mercy by, the Lord showed us mercy by, by, by giving us a great spirit, a time to get yourself right, you know. That's what the scripture speaks about, getting your house in order, you know. Choose this day who, you, who, who, who shall you serve, you know, because you can't, scripture says you can't, you can't serve the most high and mammon. You can't eat at the Lord's table and the, and the table of devils. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to choose a side with the Lord is no gray areas. You know? That's why the scriptures say, uh let me grab that real quick. This is the book of Matthew. Matthew the twelfth chapter. It's no it's no gray areas with the Lord. You either you serving him or you're not. Okay? That's where when he come and he bring judgment, he's gonna be blameless. Matthew chapter twelve and verse thirty. It says, he that is not with me, this is red letters, this is our Lord. It says, he that is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. So if you ain't doing this work, if you're not with the Lord, if you haven't uh, 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 repent, you know, you, you, this is your opportunity to repent, man. Okay? This is, cause that's why you were given the great spirit, to get your house in order. So, so you can repent. But either... Either you repent, or the scripture says you you, 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 you you repent, or you're gonna likewise perish, man. There's no gray area. So you you are being warned to get your house in order. Okay, where's that scripture where it speaks about? Um, take a second, that's just the 14th chapter. Get your house in order. Right, second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 13. It says, Now therefore set thine house in order. See, get yourself together, man. Now, therefore, set thine house in order and reprove thy people, comfort such of them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. That old man, okay? The scriptures say any 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 man that is in, 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 in your house, all right, he's a new creature. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta renounce corruption, man. It says, let go from thee moral thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, and put off now the weak nature, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste to flee from these times. You see? Because it's going to get real bad out here, man. It says, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. See? And we're going back to 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Verse 16, second chapter 14, verse 16, I'm going to read it again. It says, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen, right? Seen happen shall be done hereafter. 
Verse 17 it says, For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. Right? You see, when, when you drum from him, and you go to actually second Ezra, the 16th chapter, all right, Ezra, the prophet Ezra, he tells you right here about these times, how bad it's going to be. Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 17. So this is why you need a covering, you know. You, you need you need to, to pray to the Lord, you know, to, to deliver you, man. But you got to walk a certain way. It says, um, Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 17, Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? Okay, these last days, man, it says, the beginning of sorrows and great mourning, mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, all right, and the powers shall stand in fear. That's how bad of a time it's going, it's, it's coming, man. It says, the beginning of evils, meaning bad times. This word here, evils, it, 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 has, it has an S on it, meaning plural. So, bad times are coming, man. You're going to need a covering, you know. The scripture says, the angel of the, Lord, of the Lord encamped round about those that fear him and delivereth them. Okay? Psalms 34 and uh, verse 7. Right? So, yeah. You're going to need you're gonna need a covering, man. So, <sighs> you got to turn to the Lord, man. Repent. It says, what shall I do when these evils shall come? Verse 19, behold. Famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for an amendment. All right? Verse 20 says, But for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor always be mindful of the scourges. That's speaking of the two-third and, and, and these other, um, you know, these other nations that not that's not obeying the words of the Lord, man. Okay? Because the scriptures tell you how... <clears throat> All right, um, when you go to, what's that scripture? Let me see, I think it's Psalms. Uh, tell you how the Lord is known by his judgments. I speak about all the nations that forget that forget God. Let me see something here real quick. Come on. it says, uh, the Lord is known by the judgments which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Hagi and Selah. It says, The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God, forget the Most High Heavenly Father, Yahweh. So, yeah. At the end of the day, you know, except you repent, you know, it's going it's to be a judgment. You know, so use the time that you have, the liberty that you have to seek the Lord. 144, 441. 144 call on the Yeah. So um yeah, this was uh thinking out loud, you know. Um Lord well, willing this was edifying, you know. Um I'm gonna end the video here. Okay, giving our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bashi Meoshai Bashi Makako Dash. That were honest to the elders and apostles of great millstone who taught me the truth of well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing the truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity. Risk in their lives and their freedom to do so to you as they shall warm. To the Akim and to the Akwaf, and be brothers and sisters. Alright, until the next time, shall warm.